Hello. Greetings from Dr. Sandra Paledi in this Australian College of Tehali. This is a session on achievement test and work in the construction. I think this is not an independent video class or video lesson, but a substantiation to formal class lesson. So I am using a blended approach to discuss details of achievement plus development construction for achievement. <coughs> Actually, what is an achievement test? Achievement test normally we measure by achievement test we measure a learner's achievement in a particular context. You will get idea from this slide uh, that what an achievement test is. It is formal in method. So after a stipulated time period, a teacher can conduct an achievement test to understand to what extent the learner has learned that taught a like that, the achievement test is being conducted and achievement test has certain specific characteristics. Achievement test can be a teacher-made test or a standardized test. Teacher-made test means teacher can conduct a test for uh, one after one or two lessons a teacher can conduct a, a test on these uh, two lessons by teacher-made or question-made like that or test -made. Standardized paper means it will be wide, the characteristics of which is coming in the next slide. Then uh, it is conducting after a planned instruction. Then uh, once one got high achievement in uh, achievement test means he has mastery on learned content. So during this lesson, uh, in this video session, I may use Malayalam also for my students. So the medium of instruction can be a combination of Malayalam and English. That may help the learner better. Uh, achievement test is not a part of the program, but it is very important. We have to do the end of the program, we have to do the end of the program, we have to do the test and achievement test. A teacher is not a test tomorrow, and a legal uh, standard is a test to be used tomorrow. So, tests can be different in type. A test can be a paper pencil test or paper pencil test we can call written test or it can be an oral test it can be a performance test and among all these things the most popular test is the written test that using to uh, test the achievement the learner's achievement in cognitive domain by method achievement test can be a speed test or a power test or test can be objective type test can be subjective type and another classification is that it can be formative or summative all these details you may have already so speed test means uh, giving a particular time and the learner should complete the test within the stipulated time but power test doesn't mean it have no time restriction learner can take any time uh, to complete the test and uh, a standardized achievement test uh, just now we just told about the standardized achievement test and uh, teacher made test these are the norms of a standardized achievement test and uh, just construct a teacher made achievement test I told you teacher made achievement test means if a teacher conduct, you have conducted the lessons on one or two units from the test book in a subject, then the teacher can conduct unit test. That unit test is a teacher made test. It need, it need not be high, uh, it need not be standardized. The teacher can make use for the let you know to what extent the students are learning. For that, the teacher can plan the test, design the test. A design means can be oral test or any other way of test. Preparation of a blueprint, then item writing, item editing, preparing the final test. This is the steps a teacher to be followed for a teacher test. But why come 
uh, standardized test where have some more steps because after framing the test it have to be tried out in mean, a group of students then it conduct an item analysis then have to prepare the final draft then establish the validity reliability and norms and then prepare the final test this can be the steps to be followed for a standardized test then uh, actually the core or crux of our lesson this lesson is about blueprint not about the test construction sorry the achievement test and blueprint is being focused how to conduct or construct a blueprint is it let me know what is a blueprint a blueprint is our syllabus social science syllabus not all all syllabus is more than that but actually കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇവാലുവേഷൻ വരുന്ന നേരത്ത് ബ്ലൂപ്രിന് അത്ര വലിയ പ്രാധാന്യം ഒന്നുമില്ല ബ്ലൂപ്രിൻ്റോട് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് അത് പണ്ട് ബിൽഡിംഗ് ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് അമോണിയ പെയിൻ്റ് ഒക്കെ എടുക്കുന്നത് ബ്ലൂ കളർ ആയിരുന്നു ആ പെയിൻറ്റിന് ആ ഒരു രീതിയിൽ തന്നെയാണ് അതിനെ ബിൽഡിങ്ങിൻ്റെ ഒക്കെ പാൻ എടുക്കുന്നത് അതേ സമയം ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ടാണ് അതിനെ ബ്ലൂപ്രിൻ്റ് എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്നത് വേറെ റീസൺ അതിനില്ല ബ്ലൂപ്രിൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ആൻ അച്ചീവ്മെൻറ്റ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ചാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഐറ്റംസ് സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഐറ്റംസ് ടു ബി ടെസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ബീ ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ് ഇൻ ബ്ലൂപ്രിൻ്റ് so design of the test is in brief it is guide for making achievement test so these are all the they normally it is following a defined as a three dimensional chart of the test data but it need not be three dimensional always and spoken is three dimensional that's why then to construct a blueprint uh, one have to uh, start from plan of the test so plan of the test means teacher who is conducting the test uh, have to decide the subject the standard to which the test is to be conducted then total marks child uh, content or unit and types of question weighted to objective levels content weighted to content weighted to difficulty levels and weighted to types of questions the weighted in one of these kind of either objective level and either questions were not atra mark in varana content either the unit in varana and difficulty level easy atra varana ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് എത്ര വേണം ആവറേജ് എത്ര വേണം ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഏതൊക്കെ ആയിരിക്കും ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്ലാൻ ചെയ്തതിന് വെയിറ്റേജ് കൊടുക്കണം ഈ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ആണ് ഇനിയുള്ള സ്ലൈഡിൽ പറയാൻ പോകുന്നത് സോ ദ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഹവ് ടു ഗിവൺ പ്രോപ്പർ വെയിറ്റേജ് ടു ഓൾ ദീസ് ലെവൽസ് ആൻഡ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഹിയർ ഇസ് എ മോഡൽ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ഫോർ ദി മീനിയൻ ലേണിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദി പീപ്പിൾ സപ്പോസ് ഇസ് എ സബ്ജെക്ട് ഓൺ സോഷ്യൽ സയൻസ് ഫോർ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് നയൻ ആൻഡ് ടോട്ടൽ മാർക്സ് ഇസ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ and time is uh, 130 hours this all can decide by a teacher all these details but this planning is necessary and then based on this planning teacher can construct the blueprint so this blueprint which i am going to describe now is based on the uh, taxonomy of bloom bloom's taxonomy based on bloom's taxonomy is going to determine based on that objective levels like knowledge understanding application and then synthesis evaluation on this basis this blueprint is being constructed um, so what is the weightage to objectives weightage to objective level means in this test in this mock test which we discussed now this mock test for 40 marks here i am using the weightage for knowledge level 6 marks comprehension 8 marks application 12 marks then skill levels 40 marks so there may be a question what is the skill levels because in bloom's taxonomy it is saying that knowledge comprehension application analysis synthesis evaluation so instead of giving uh, six columns um, what is done is combined the analysis synthesis and evaluation to one level that is skill levels so the skill levels includes analysis level synthesis level and evaluation so total 40 marks next one is weightage content so this test is to be conducted from two units here uh, teacher can give the unit name you need to one whatever the name of the unit you need to whatever the name of the unit you need three whatever the name of the unit so this can be the content to be organized so 14 must from one unit uh, from third unit 14 from second unit 12 from first unit this is weighted to difficulty level a ec can is 12 marks Uh, average carry is 14 marks, difficult carry is 14 marks. All this should be tallied properly. 
then uh, we take two types of question that means uh, types of question means you can add any number of types of question depends upon the interest here it is used the objective type question short answer type question paragraph type question essay type question it can be objective type short answer only or it can be objective type short answer and essay only it can be short answer paragraph and essay only need not be objective These are not depend upon the interest of the teacher or depend upon the authority who is going to conduct the test or any some other things. Very short answer, uh, moderate short answer, large question answer. Like that, any number of questions can be added. So in this mock test, it is an objective short answer paragraph and essay. So we are going to conduct the blueprint or construct the blueprint. So, blueprint is a compound of all these descriptions. It means these these items should be come. This weightage to objectives, weightage to content, weightage to difficulty level, uh, weightage to type of questions. All these will come in the uh, blueprint. And after constructing the blueprint, blueprint is the chart with certain columns and others. In this chart, a note can be given. So, in the next slide, you can see it. This is the blueprint based on that forty marks assumption. You can see all the details. Uh, objectives have given knowledge, comprehension, application, and skill levels. I told you the skill level includes analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Then content. Sorry, content. Content is unit one, unit two, unit three. So O stands for objective type questions. S stands for short answer question. P stands for paragraph type. E stands for essay type. Then <coughs> two items are given as notes. One is that. Star, since somewhere you can see, for example, unit two, yes, short times are you can see one star. Then unit two in uh, comprehension level you can see um, uh, one thing. Comprehension level you can see one star. That is one one. This star indicates marks of same question at different levels. So one question gets two marks, but it given uh, one mark in the uh, knowledge level and one mark in comprehension. Level. Like that, then if you are distributing mark to different levels, it should be indicated. You can see unit number three, S C, which is given application level five marks and skill level three marks. Then also S star is given. So whenever you are uh, distributing uh, marks to different levels, a star should be indicated the distribution of marks. Then what is outside the brackets? Outside the bracket means it is the mark. And inside the question, sorry bracket. Inside the bracket means no, total number of questions. Number of questions are given inside the brackets, and marks are given outside. Number of question means uh, if it is five question for one mark each, then five totally it will be given like that. You can go through one by one column. Unit one objective type. It mark it means inside the bracket one question. And outside the bracket, one mark. It means one question for one mark. So that question carries only one mark. But in unit one, uh, short answer type, it carries one question, but that question carries two mark. And that is unit one. Only at the bracket, now at the bracket, one question is there. One question, one mark. That is indicated. Now, what short answer will come there? One question, but that one question carries two marks. ஒரு சோதி தானேங்கள் Uh, one mark each, and then three in bracket. Question numbers, total number of questions, and marks for total questions. And in P, you can see skill levels, paragraph type. It carries six marks, two question for unit one. It means two question for six marks. Six by two, three. It means each question carries three marks. Like that, it is given. So remember, ये कार्य मतलब है वोट तरीके ना अंदर ना चले आगे इन ला चोदेंगे उन्हें अन्ना हो आ चोदेंगे उनके लंग उड़ी लो मार्क मार अल्लाह दे वेर टू वेर टू मार्क कर ले पर अंडे चोदेंगे उन पारिगर्फी चोदेंगे उरी चोदेंगे मोनो मार्क कर उन्हें अंडे इंटू मोनो आ रहा है अंगने याना मार्क बोल 
you can go through unit 1 unit 1 short time sir it is distributed to two levels one is comprehension another is knowledge apo uh, one mark uh, one question actually the question was for two marks but one mark given here one mark in the comprehension level. this step you can ask it means something for remembering you who is the uh, first prime minister of india it's a remembering level so one mark for that one then comprehension level uh, so a comprehension level means uh, who was the president during the time of nehru uh, uh, the first prime minister who was who were the two first two presidents during the time of uh, first prime minister so first two presidents we have to remember little more understanding is needed then comprehension comes like that if the question is distributed to two levels two levels we can indicate it with a star mark so by each column you can understand how it comes one mark one mark like that in uh, application level you can see three uh, bar three it means three questions each question carries one mark and finally in paragraph you can carry one mark three it means one question carries three marks same thing in unit two unit three and subtotal subtotal means if it is star indicates only star has to given no need of question number grand total for each column and grand total for 40 so this should be tallied all items should be uh, tallied uh, in columns it's actually very easy so based on this blueprint the test can be constructed easily it means the question if you are going to frame a question paper it means in unit one there should have one question that is knowledge level that is knowledge level means one mark one question that question should be easy question because it should be it is from knowledge level uh, from comprehension level they have three questions it can be easy or moderately easy average uh, question can be asked because it is three questions for three more but in paragraph level from unit one it is skill level two questions from uh, unit one it should be difficult questions because that is a skill levels higher order question difficult question means higher order question like that the distribution comes so this is the method of blueprint construction uh, please try to make a blueprint for uh, 25 marks in the same method by constructing one or two you will get its easiness yeah, you will understand it easily all these things should be followed types of question weighted difficulty level weighted content weighted objective and then weighted objective uh, weighted content weighted difficulty level uh, types of questions then this is one method based on the uh, Bloom's taxonomy. And there is things. There is one more thing that is for process dimension based blueprint. This comes because learning teaching process is process dimension based. Uh, in means uh, evaluation also should be process based. So then subjective questions have uh, objective questions may not work properly. Questions should uh, uh, evaluate the achievement in process also well, so with my own intention i developed this blueprint and uh, published in ncrt journal and got its uh, copyright and so i am personally very happy and this method is following in different ways in different countries uh, you, you can get a brief information on uh, uh, edb blueprint by typing um, sorry on the Hmm. What is the process? What is the subtle like that? And where is the problem stacks on me? You will get information by right, uh, searching my name in YouTube, Shankar Narayan Paliyadi, on uh, where is the problem stacks on me. You will get a brief video on that one also. Why this blueprint? This blueprint will be teaching uh, const is constructive and process based. Apu? ുംബുക്ക് <laughs> One chapter carries four types of knowledge. A chapter may carry factual knowledge, the chapter will carry conceptual knowledge, procedural knowledge, metagogical knowledge. And then you have a chapter to design the book. 
അതിന്റെ ഒരേ തരം കണ്ടന്റ് അല്ല കണ്ടന്റ് അതിന്റെ സുരക്ഷാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് ലേണിങ് സൗകര്യത്തിനായിട്ട് പല രീതിയിൽ കഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഇതിനെ ബേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇനി അച്ചീവ്മെന്റ് ഉണ്ടാകുന്നത് So, basing is not on the unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, no. From unit 1 to unit 3, what are the factual knowledge? What are the conceptual knowledge from unit 1 to unit 3? What are the procedural knowledge and metabolic knowledge from unit 1 to unit 3? This should be uh, understood in the context of unit 1 to unit 3. Unit 1 to unit 3, 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 unit types of question are not applicable to this method of low points because one question itself carries different types of uh, approaches for example mm. who is the rashtrapita of india or father of nation of india do you think he or she is uh, deserving that title so one part of that question is factual who is the father of nation the student cannot change the answer mm. i mean cannot manipulate the answer the answer is always mahan but do you think he deserve it then the student can write in his own metabolic way the sort don concept here so same question may carry different levels that is why there is no types of question uh, this is the brief introduction metacognitive area have seven marks factor have six marks like that and then uh, weighted process dimension remember to create the marks are distributed like this then uh, ec2 difficult it carries like this then this is so another thing someone difference is there from the blueprint that we discussed like before what is that one column is total question how total question means this question paper carries only seven questions total seven questions only and uh, question numbers are given as it is in the question paper 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. this is a question number and marks are different for the 1 2 3 questions each question carries four marks total four marks four and five question each question carries three marks total six marks then for sixth question two marks uh, seventh question five marks so that four more system of the first two questions objective for one mark second session of question paper for two marks third question for four marks that system has for gone out question can be in a mix up so like that it is given it means it it have no type of question uh, at i repeat it is a for factual dimension the part of paragraph type of question so as i told you just before uh, now let us make the blueprint this is the blueprint as we discussed on it uh, because the question is distributed to different levels and wherever it is distributed different levels it, it uh, indicated with s chart the question is not distributed in different level for example in factual uh, dimension factual knowledge dimension it carries uh, apply level one question question number is 6 in the former blueprint that we discussed has six means six questions here it means sixth question that is the difference in the former blueprint if you write it is six means Uh, it has six questions adayad aaru chodyam undu ennana mupatha group ni kartha nammal nerthu padichu idil avumbo aaramatha question ennana artha aaramatha question rendu mark ennana factual apply level kartha chodyam so please remember this big difference that in bracket it given six six means i am am indicating on factual level apply question six in bracket to the mark outside bracket Six means sixth question. In the first metacognitive, there is one star with a two, and in bracket two, and uh, balance you can see uh, in evaluate level. It means uh, two plus two four for the second question, question number two. So in bracket, it is not the total number of questions, but it is the question number. It means seventh question, fifth question, third question like that. This is the major difference between. Uh, other blueprint and this one so it depends upon the question paper if you are making the question paper with objective type question paragraph type question short answer type question uh, then uh, match the following as a lot of objective questions as yes or no question that all objective question then the former blueprint i mean this blueprint is better if you are using uh, question paper with the uh, um, 
uh, this one this blueprint is better if your question paper carries specific different types of questions like objective short answer uh, like that but if your question is this one i mean uh, general questions with uh, that to determine the process dimension then this blueprint is better this is called the process dimension based blueprint and uh, actually this is a method we have to follow if our construct constructive step approach of teaching is there the uh, evaluation also constructive in approach so this is the lesson about blueprint and uh, the feature of method feature of blueprint at this one so actually it is easy to construct it is not difficult uh, by saying this car and others you may think that it is difficult but it is very easy to construct then uh, Mm, this is another uh, popular unit but for that so, so this is constructing not the unit but uh, factual procedural uh, conceptual and meta cognitive ideas are being evaluated then the question should focus on the corresponding learning process of the process dimension it means for example if a question belong to remember the dimension should manifest either retrieving or identifying or recalling or recognizing question should be appropriate according to the Uh, for knowledge dimension that is applicable to the formal blueprint also then uh, one thing we have to remember that it depends upon the total marks the column width should be appropriate because many entries will come in the same column but in the process like uh, this is the particular feature of this type of blueprint but in the former one i mean based on the bloom structure I mean, a column will not be repeated like this so this is the a brief explanation on uh, different types of uh, construction of blueprint i think you may get a brief idea by the formal lesson you may be actually oriented uh, with this idea thank you thank you from dr shankar narayan